I have a lot to catch you up on in terms of recent sewing projects. Stay tuned, I'm about to break it all down. And welcome back to Dine In Creativity. I'm Rachel Ann, and I wanna say welcome and thank you for sticking around. If you have stayed around my channel, I did kind of fall off of the YouTube planet the last several months. I had a lot of things come up personally and with some travel over the summer, work-related things, I just could not continue to make content on my sewing channel, but I'm so happy to be back. This is kind of my fun, creative outlet, and so I hope that you've been doing great. Over the summer, I set a goal for myself that when I went home to visit my family, uh, I think it was in June or July, I was going to sew my entire wardrobe for the trip. And that's exactly what I want to show you today. Some of the pieces that I sewed for the trip, but also other pieces that I've been working on and completed. So let me go ahead and get started. Interestingly enough, I was perusing the Banana Republic website. I love Banana Republic. I like the factory store. I like the regular store. And I saw this shirt, which I'll link the picture right here. And I thought, I just bought the pattern to make that shirt. And so here it is. I had gone shopping while I was out of town with my dad and found this stunning light peach fabric that I just think is gonna be so gorgeous for transitioning into fall weather. It was the McCall's pattern N8042. Highly recommend, I've made it twice at this point. Also made it in a different fabric, but I wore the shirt yesterday actually to work, and so it's in the dirty clothes basket, uh, but I'll maybe show that to you a different time. But it was actually very easy to sew and work with, and it's rated very easy, so I would absolutely say that it was a very easy project to work with and sew. If you like that kind of blousey, throw it on with jeans, tuck it in with some cute high-waisted shorts kind of look. I recommend this 100%. The next dress that I wanna show you is actually what I'm wearing. This was such a fun pattern to work with. I made a video and included this pattern not too long ago. It was the Know Me by Mimi G, M-E-2-0-2-1. So much fun to sew and it was very easy to sew. This is a dress I'm going to make over and over again. In fact, I actually have a second version of it that I will show you. There, you know, if I am being my perfectionistic self, there are a couple things I would maybe do differently. I feel like this could be taken in just slightly in terms of my version that I made, but overall, it was such a fun pattern to make, super cute. The other dress that I did end up sewing was just the lime green, and it does need to be ironed, so sorry about that. But it is just the lime green version. I made it sleeveless. As you can see, the original pattern does call for sleeves, long sleeves in both of them. But wearing this in the summer in Florida, I there's no way I was gonna have long sleeves, so I just made them shorter. And it's kind of, you know, it kind of flares out. It kind of goes to me with the theme of the dress. So there's so many fun ways that you can alter this pattern and really make it work for what you're looking for. This would even be cute long sleeve and even a knit material for fall with some really cute boots or something of that nature. And this, <laughs> I added this lace as an afterthought because I had to hide the fact that I needed to put a little extra panel when I was sewing this. I think I just sewed it way too small, um, but with the lace over the sides, it adds some fun detail, but also disguises that little line of pa uh, paneling that I had had to add. But I love the, the sweetheart neckline, really adds a little fun detail, and I love this fun color for summer, going out to dinner, whatever. The other thing that I did, and this was kind of a mi mismatch of this pattern, of the Mimi G pattern, I made it in a shirt as well. I have yet to wear this top yet, but I, instead of leaving the sleeves kind of open, I did add the elastic 
panel here just to cinch it in a little bit. They probably could even be a little smaller, but I just wanted it to be comfortable. And again, sweetheart neckline. I added the zipper down the back. I did a contrasting kind of baby blue zipper just to add a little something. But this pattern is so easy to modify and really make it the way that you want to make it. So again, just so you have it, no me, Mimi G, M E two O two one. Definitely recommend. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what has been my pride and joy. I was joking with my husband saying that I felt like I was sewing a couture garment. <laughs> um, but tweed shorts, I have never worked with tweed before. This is actually taken from a dress that I probably wore one time and it's just been hanging in my closet. I've been going through all my clothes, getting rid of a ton, and I love the tweed, but the specific dress never actually fit me very well. It was too tight in the waist, so it was always uncomfortable. I think the one, maybe two times that I ever did wear it. So I used the fabric from the skirt. It already had the pockets sewn in, and I was able to line those up. I added, it is. I did put a side zip in, the original pattern that I used was Simplicity S920. These shorts were honestly so easy to sew with. And this is the first pair of shorts I have ever sewn. So I've been sewing now, I feel like maybe it's a year and a half at this point. Always super intimidated to sew shorts. But if you are like me and it always was kind of a little bit overwhelming or intimidating to think about sewing shorts, this would be the pattern I would highly recommend to start out with because really it's, there's not much to it and there's no pockets on these shorts, which, you know, just creates that really nice flat front, short look, kind of tailored look that I love so much. And I am so happy with how these turned out. I can't wait to wear these. I feel like they're a great transition piece for fall with a white turtleneck, um, maybe some low heeled pumps or something of that nature. And so I'm just excited to wear these out and about. The back, it just so happened that the skirt had already the kind of navy blue piping and I was a little nervous that they would be too tight. And so I did go ahead and just add, I had some blue satin fabric left over from a top I had sewn way back when, and just added the, the satin piping down the sides. I did French seams all throughout these shorts. Um, so even, you know, down the front, I don't know if you can see that very well, but I knew the tweed was interesting because as you may know, if you, you know, have sewn with it, it does become unraveled uh, pretty easily. So I wanted to just make those French seams, keep it super tidy and neat. The one thing that I want to say about this, and I just set it down, about this pattern and um, the Simplicity S9290, if I had gone by the body measurement size, I would have been four sizes bigger than what I usually am with these big four patterns. So I actually sized way down, took a chance, but it kind of worked out because I didn't have a ton of fabric to work with and it worked out great. So that's just something to keep in mind. I actually measured the pattern pieces and that was also very helpful to really get a true accurate sizing. I don't know why they do that, but that's you know kind of strange. I have talked about this Simplicity Retro Pattern S9538 1940s vintage style pattern before. I'd actually gone to my local thrift store and found a tablecloth and it had the most beautiful embroidery that I fell in love with and it looked so vintage and immediately I bought it. I think it was $1.99 or something of that nature and made this cute little cropped peasant top that naturally I felt like the embroidered sleeves would add so much. 
it is such a delicate material and so it is just so lightweight it's so easy to throw on really with anything with such a variety of shorts and i have already worn this so many times again to keep it really neat i did all of the french seams inside this always adds, as you probably know watching, definitely extra time and an extra step, but in my opinion, it is so worth it because if you're like me, you wanna be able to really wear and enjoy your garments and throw them in the washer, in the dryer, and not worry about threads unraveling or be out and about and have the unraveled threads start to show, and so then you're kind of pulling at them or getting them, getting them out of the way. And so I found that that was super helpful. It does have a gusset. I used a part of the fabric that would just add a little line right there, just for a little detail, just a little, little something, something. But if you are looking for a peasant style top, this is my go-to. I think this is the third or fourth top I've made with this. And I'm actually gonna link, uh, show you a picture. I made a full, top with this and a skirt, a matching skirt as a set. And I just wore it the other day. And it, it was just such an easy look to throw together and put together. So I highly recommend that simplicity S9538 pattern if you too love a good peasant top. Um, the only modification I did actually with all of them is I like the banded waist just to bring it in a little bit and it also makes it effortless instead of feeling like you need to tuck it in um the banded waist just takes care of that so definitely recommend this one uh fabric was one i found in the clearance department of my local joanne fabric store i think it was marked down to six dollars a yard and i have never worked with knit before and so this to me was an experiment. This was one of those um, projects where mm, I kind of just want to go through a trial run and if it turned out the way I wanted it to, I would wear it. Thankfully, this did turn out the way I wanted it to. I'm a little iffy on the high neck. Sometimes uh, I don't really like things really tight around my neck. That's just me. But it ended up being very cute. I added the bow on the back so that I could loosen it so it wasn't just so right up on my neck. It, it just feels, it's a claustrophobic feeling in my opinion. And then added a little band at the bottom because the, the shirt did, I shortened it a little too much. So just added that little modification, which actually with some high-waisted shorts, because it is, it's not a long top, it, it kind of creates again that more tailored look that I really enjoy. And so the pattern I used that I've been holding on to forever was Simplicity S9230. Kind of unusual um, shirt, this one, but I also like it. This was the look, the view that I made, and that is view C. Very, very easy to sew this one up. If you're looking for just a quick and easy shirt, maybe you've got a scrap of fabric that you don't know what to do with, this is a great project to, to, to put together because it really takes maybe an hour or so. It's, it's two pieces. Um, even, the, you know, it's all one large piece of fabric. Sew it together. I, again, all about those French seams. So that's what I did here just to keep it nice and neat, tailored and it was ready to go. The, the longest thing was, you know, making these straps, which if you've had to make these straps, you know, you gotta flip it inside out, take your, your clothes pin. I actually use a paintbrush as my tool to kind of pull it over to flip it inside out, and that's been helpful for me, just a skinny paintbrush, you know, for oil painting or whatever, and that's been helpful. But that was the final look just the light blue knit fabric. I made a pair of pajamas out of the same material. I'll show that to you another video, but for the sake of today, just wanna to show you that simplicity pattern. Last but not least, the final item I am going to show you today is the Mood Free Pattern Printout Nettle Dress. It was 
interesting to sew. I had to think of the right word here. Uh, I thought the directions were good, but also in some ways a little confusing for someone who, relatively speaking, I mean, sewing for a year and a half at this point, still would consider myself probably uh, an advanced beginner. So it kind of felt like trying to put a jigsaw puzzle together with all of the pieces, but I am happy with how it turned out. It is a little bit short, and so I bought some really cute, just short white biker shorts off Amazon with a white spaghetti strap top, um, just so that, you know, even though there is fairly decent coverage when it comes to the skirt and if it were to fly open, uh, just for that added layer. But this is a dress where, you know, where I live, it stays warm all through September, October, and I think it would be very pretty to put some cute booties on with it and call it a day. The one modification I made, the pattern actually calls for, and I apologize, you can see my Roomba in the corner. <laughs> Thank goodness for the Roomba though, it helps out a lot. I added a bow here. The original pattern called for a wooden ring. I am picky. I could not find a wooden ring I liked enough, or uh, most of them were, were plastic. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I, with this dress, I really wanted it to be in the pat in the fabric. I really wanted it to be that wooden kind of vintage type feel. The fabric is from a vintage thrift store. When I was in town visiting my family, my dad and I love to look at antique stores and spend the day just kind of going out and about looking at uh, thrift stores as well and found this large piece of fabric and it was vintage. It was in a vintage booth and I thought it was so beautiful. So I am so excited to wear this. Have not worn it yet, but I am going to. My love for sewing continues to grow. I'm slowly just sewing up my entire wardrobe. It's so much fun because you get to pick out the patterns, the prints, the fabrics, the style, you can modify it. And I just think it is such a fun process of designing such a good creative outlet. I look forward to posting more videos. I am absolutely gonna try to be so much more consistent and really get back onto my once a week posting schedule that I like and I just appreciate you being here and watching and if you did stick around thank you for sticking around but I hope that you're doing great taking good care of yourself and as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time